Go back to Khadija radiallahu anha, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Take a look at how and why he married. He married a woman because he knew her credentials were really very high. The fact that she was 15 years older than him did not bother him because he said she will be a good mother to my children and a brilliant wife to me. And guess what? The day he came with revelation, the first person he rushed to was her. And you know, he said, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, you know, cover me. I need a tight hug. And he got that hug from his wife. And she took a keen interest in what he was saying. And she trusted him so much. That as soon as he said, this is what happened to me, she believed it. I bear witness. It's true. Today you tell your wife, if she waits for you, I hope it's not with a stick, but if she waits for you, where were you? It's finished. It's over. No matter what you say, you're dead meat. You're dead. Meaning, she's not going to believe. Just where you were, she doesn't believe. She phones you and says, where are you? You say, oh, I'm sitting in the masjid, but I've got GPS tracking on you. You're sitting in the club? <laughs> oh, GPS tra tracking? No, it's not working. I change phones. I swap phones, you know, with a friend of mine. All these lies will get you nowhere. You are a person whom your spouse does not need to phone you to ask you where you are. You should be such, you phone her or you message her or vice versa. Darling, this is where I am. I hope to be home at this time. And if you don't hear from me by that time, please be worried. Wow. Beautiful. What a nice relationship. But the problem is we don't use these words. We'll use the word darling with a woman we don't really have as a darling.